My name is Jeremy Ballantin. I'm an Associate Professor of Communication at Stanford University. We're here at the Virtual Human Interaction Lab. If you could help me make sure that it's on your head straight, that would be great. Uh, is that comfortable for you? Yeah, that's good. Okay, great. In general, there's a paradox with virtual reality. The brain treats an experience as real, but we can create any experience fathomable. You are on a rocky reef close to the Italian coast around the island of Ischia. Virtual reality does three things. It tracks your physical movements in the world, it redraws a scene based on those movements, and then it sends new perceptual information to the eyes, the ears, and the skin. Find the silver-colored sea bream, the fish species that feeds on the sea urchins. Watch as the sea urchins disappear as the water becomes more acidic. If you show somebody the consequences of their actions in virtual reality, it makes them rethink their physical behavior. With concepts like climate change or deforestation or even pollution, we can use virtual reality to make the relationship between human behavior and the impact on the environment less abstract and more concrete.